first day I was on Vapor Therm, I was able to sit up. I had no energy prior to that. I was flat, I was down. Being able to sit up um, helped me breathe better and it helped also my body to, to work on the, the process of the pneumonia. Even though I was in intensive care unit, I could still manage my life. Being able to see my grandbaby come in, you know, and she saw a number of things that were unusual, but she was like, Grandma, I said, and I was able to sit up. I was able to have her sit on the bed. I could hold her and do things that, um, if I was on a ventilator, I think it would have scared her even more. Well, for me as a respiratory therapist, it makes my job actually more efficient in some ways. Because Vapotherm is very, very easy to use, and some of the alternatives to Vapotherm simply take a lot of time to set up. It's a mode that we go to right away. I mean, I, I, today I'm working NICU. Last week we had triplets that were born. I think they were born at maybe 29 to 31 weeks. Very, very young at that, at that point. Their, their, their lungs are, are very, very immature. What Vapotherm did was it gave us, it, again, it bought us time. It takes, it takes time for a pulmonary surfactant to work. Talia was in really good condition. So Talia was extubated after seven or eight hours and went straight on to vapor therm. Um, Tia was ventilated for about five days and then went on to BiPAP. For a very long time, she couldn't tolerate them switching it to CPAP mode. And then when she finally did, and then we thought, well, maybe we could try her on the vapor therm. Then there wasn't one available at the time they were all in use. The constant kind of pulling and tugging and having to adjust everything has given her really bad kind of sensitivity to touch around her face, around her mouth that we've had to work on for a really long time. You know, her face at one point was just so completely deformed that I was shocked when they, when they took it off and I saw her like that for the first time. And then you just think, well, how is she gonna look later? Is she going to look normal? And it took a lot of work in terms of molding her head shape, which is something you'd never even think of. Psychologically for you as a parent, it's nicer because you can see their face, you can touch them. It makes getting them out to hold them for kangaroo care a lot easier. So Talia had to go on CPAP, which she'd never been on and she used to fight it really hard. I mean, at any given time you'd go in and she'd rip the mask off her face and was just in air. By the time we left, kind of a year on, they'd purchased three, and it's a 30-bed unit. And you think three on a 30-bed unit is doing nothing. You know, how do you choose which three are gonna get to go on it? If you could make somebody more comfortable, then why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you try anyway? From my perspective, if I could help one person from having to deal with some of the issues that I've had to deal with, that's a success for me. This is a step forward in medical science. It gave me freedom, but it also reduced my time in the hospital not being on the ventilator, being, you guys are innovative. You have made a stride forward in medicine that is, I, I'm just thrilled that you guys put this together. It's made a difference in my life. I like to say thank you. It's, it's, it's really great. And you know, the work that you do is really important, you know, to to a whole family, not to a child, to a whole family. And I think that's what people forget to think about, that this kind of care is not care for a baby, it's care for a whole family. And it makes such a difference to people's lives. You know, to be able to see and feel their baby is something, you know. Sorry. Here we are on top of the stars Never thought we'd ever get this far We live for moments like this We come alive in moments like this Here we are, this is a 
Let's go.